A big day today, kids. An historic day. The day the President of the United States declared the end of the war. The war in Iraq will end. An end to the Iraq war. Well, no. This is very tricky. No combat missions means we're not at war, but they're not going to say that. Let me say this as plainly as I can. August 31st, 2010, combat mission in Iraq will end. Combat missions have ended, but he's not going to say that the war's ending. He's not going to declare mission accomplished. It's kind of an interesting time. I support this policy. Surge has succeeded. Surge again. Surge succeeded. That is your achievement. You got the job done. Home run. Literally brought tears to my eyes. CPAC convention. GOP trying to regain its footing. The Soviet Union disappeared. Freedom worked. It was a great 25 years. Attorney General Holder described us as, quote, a nation of cowards. Let me say to Attorney General Holder, anywhere, anytime. Really frightening. Jonathan Crone, our 13-year-old wonderkin. Our biggest loser today. Why? I'd like to talk a little bit about the principles of conservatism. Like a double loser. People have come up to me and said, so you're a Republican. You know, you get up there and you do this Republican stuff and you talk about politics. And I, and I always have to tell Tell them that no, conservatism is not about the party. Who was care. the first person to watch something fall out of a chicken's butt and say, oh, let's eat that? It is an ideology of protecting the people and the people's rights. Oh, my God. Oh, God, you guys are funny. Okay, happy Friday. Rush Limbaugh speaking tomorrow. The conservatives just uh, in a lather waiting for him. That's what